What's up guys, Jackson here with my first tutorial video on my new YouTube channel and this is called So You Want to Be an Editor slash Tutorial Tuesdays where I'm going to give you guys the basic breakdown of Premiere, maybe get into some advanced effects and stuff later. Uh, I'm by far not a professional editor, but I do consider myself very proficient in Premiere Pro and I can give you the basics and help you to find your way around it. Starting with this first video, I'm going to be going over sticky keys or hot keys or whatever the heck you guys want to call it. Uh, they're basically all the shortcuts. I'm going to show you how to just the quickest ways to move around Premiere so you're not just clicking file tabs and having to move your mouse everywhere and you can just do it all from your left hand if you're whatever dominant hand it is you use you can set your preferences to how you want it. Uh, I will be operating on a Mac system, I'll be on a laptop, a MacBook Pro, but all the keys are the same with uh, Windows, just substitute the command key for the control key. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video today. I'm going to go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro. Ooh. Yes, that one. Okay. My computer is too slow to run the 2019 version apparently, so I have to go back and revert it to 12.0 version, which is kind of sucks, but no worries, all the keys should be the same for the 2018 if you're watching this for the 2019 version. Um, yeah, just going to wait for this to open. Let's go to my project, Sticky Keys. Alright, so once you open it up, this is what it's going to look like. It's very basic. Over here is where you'll import your media. This will be your timeline. This will be your. See this will be where you see your video, and this will be where you can preview any of your clips. So there's several ways to import media. One, you can go up to File and go down here to Import and yada yada. That's just gonna take too long. So I'm trying to show you the shortcuts, not give you the long version. This is not right. I'm gonna go up here to this file I have called Hill Shots. I'm just gonna go in here and pull a few out instead of just importing the whole thing. Let's go ahead and get this top row footage here from drone shots that I shot. So I'm gonna pull that into Premiere and just like that. So you guys saw that, just drag it in, click on the stuff you want, put it in there. Easy as that. Um, go ahead and expand the screen back out. So now I've got five clips over here in my bin and I'm ready to get started. So when I want to view a clip, preview it before I throw it straight in my timeline, just go ahead and double click on it. And that'll give us what we want. This is the one I'm looking for. This will be the one I want. Okay, so now that you're up here, um, I don't really want this whole clip because I was trying to figure out how to get the drone working. Where's a better shot at? Um, here we go. This won't work. Uh, this is. I was just trying to figure out how to how I wanted the shot to be done. This is the one I want. So I don't want this beginning part. Let's say I want to trim it. The two keys you're going to use here are I to go in and O to go out. That's your sticky keys. Uh, for that and that's just a lot quicker than me dragging this here clicking that and going down here and then coming back and clicking that and in the same instance I can just go boop and boop and it's over so that's easy enough for me if you want to drag just the video you hit this which this doesn't have audio so that's convenient for us anyway uh, if there was audio you would click this button here and that would drag just the audio but since we want to get them both together we'll just click on the image itself drag it and drop it into our timeline so I'm going to go ahead and expand this back out because I want the footage just to be able to see some of that stuff. So let's start with the basics. Zooming in and out of your timeline is going to be the plus and minus uh, keys up here. That's pretty pretty easy. I'm pretty sure it's the same for Windows. I haven't tried it yet. I've never ran the software on Windows. Um, getting ready to that when I bring a computer. That'll be a, a fun testament. So over here, everything has a has a letter, corresponding letter to how you get to it. The two most important are V and C. C is your razor tool, which cuts. V is just your normal selection tool, which allows you to just spread your uh, things anywhere you want. Put them on your the timelines, you know, different tracks, stuff like that. So we'll keep that in mind. This is the motion track, or the select track forward tool. It's not really used unless you're doing a mask or something, and we're not going to get into that in this episode. Uh, this is the ripple delete tool. It is B. Uh, that's used for if you have... Well, come here, buddy. If you have... I'm literally getting bad at this. Okay. So if you have two clips right there, you can literally just click that there and oh, maybe, I don't want to do it with me. Uh, you can just ripple delete. So that's easy to use there. This is the slip tool. I've never used slip tool. I'm not really sure what it does. Um, I think it just creates space. Uh, the pen tool is for masking. Uh, that'll be, like I said later on, the hand tool is so you can move things around without, um, without touching your clips. So you know, if I put it on here, I won't touch the clips, so I just move the timeline. Uh, and the text is for graphics, which is just put it up there and you can type whatever you want. It doesn't want to cooperate. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Okay. Um, but we don't want that right now, so we're going to get rid of that. That'll be for a later episode. 
So while you're operating down here, the like I said, the two main ones you're going to use are B and C, and that equals uh, the selection and cut tool. So now I just got the cut, and I can just spot uh, there, there. And say I don't want this one, just Command X. Command X will delete anything. So that's easy enough to, to remember. Command X does that. If you want, don't want to waste your time going over here to the uh, Ripple Edit tool, just go ahead and right click on that space, and it'll bring it together like that. And that's the quickest way to do that. Um, while you're down here, if you don't like that move you just made, Command Z will undo. Um, but if you do like it and you decide you want to go different on it, Command Shift Z will bring you back to your um, what you just did. That's a redo button. Um, as far as hotkeys go on Premiere, those are about the only ones I use uh, in the moment. And Oh, other than, well, yeah, Command M. So if you want to export something real quickly without going up to File Export, you just hit Command M. And it'll bring up our export page where you can, you can change all the stuff. Sticky keys. Yeah, sure. Sticky keys, and these are all of our settings and stuff. You definitely don't want to export at quick time. But yeah, I'll, I'll go over exporting a different day. But yeah, uh, that's basically it for this first introduction video on sticky keys. It's very easy. Uh, I would highly recommend watching this and learning these keys before you go into Premiere because it's really just going to speed up your process. So thank you guys so much for watching and next week we'll get into just basic editing tips and tricks. So yeah, thank you guys and we'll see you next time.